Yeah, I've never been to this level before. I don't remember it. I don't have fucking nostalgia. Oh, it's nothing about you. Goggles. For this, is it nothing about me, really? Because I think it's all about me. Well, uh, well I would give you $30,000 if you came to me and said, I'm sick and dying and I'm broke. Or, I'm trying to produce this thing and I don't have enough money and I'll pay you back. You, you know what I will say? That's what I would give you. And th this is, for. I won't talk like numbers or anything like this, but like, just to show everyone what a fucking awesome guy you are. Uh, before I joined the show and I was unemployed, I had just moved to LA, uh, Ninja Sex Party was in the red, shall we say, uh -huh. and like needed uh, cash to uh, stay afloat. And we were gonna do a Kickstarter, and I told you about it, and you were like, dude, I'll just give you that. And like, I almost cried, because <laughs> it was so fucking awesome of you. Wasn't that in line at. It was online for the X2. <laughs> <laughs> Magic and Mountain. Six Flags Magic Mountain. <laughs> we were getting all pumped, and then we got real. Yeah, and then I got very <laughs> emotional. And then. I flew on a roller coaster at 80 miles an hour backwards through fire <laughs> and saw God. Holy shit, that was a terrifying roller coaster. <laughs> and I'm and I'm just grateful that I, I got a job right after that, like a week later. And then I got this job and uh, the greatest job of all time. And then uh, I didn't need that anymore. So I never actually needed because I hate borrowing money from friends. Well, whatever. I wouldn't be borrowing it. You just have it. Well, that'd be that'd be that'd be even worse because then I'd. I couldn't, I couldn't accept that amount of money without feeling like I owed you. Yeah, but here's the thing, debt. you're my friend. I know. And that's just the thing that friends do. You're a very rare and special guy, Aaron. I don't think that's a thing that a lot of friends would do. Well, then fuck them. Right? What do they know about friendship? I know, I know. Well, it's a good, uh, it's a good thing we have, like, this episode to keep us, uh, like, focused on what's going on, because I, I would, I would totally just fucking give you, like, a big ol' hug right now. I smell really bad right I, now. You smell god-awful. Yeah. And, like, there's actually, that. like, a, a two-foot radius in any direction that I can't get, I can't break, uh, just, two even having your knee this close to me is, like, <laughs> oof. The crotch smell is, That like... is a rank knee. <laughs> Rank 20. Oh shit! That shit's cor Corporal Corporal Colonel now! <laughs> <laughs> Old lady at the piano plays like the horrible theme. Yeah, that is the best. <laughs> yeah, I made a cartoon about that. Did you? Yeah, this is third grade Transformers. Yes. Did you ever see that? Third, no. You never I'm, not, I'm not a fan of your work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of your work. It was a Transformers The Revenge of the Fallen parody. Oh, that sounds awesome. It was it was like a school play of the plot of the second Transformers movie. <laughs> when did you do this? I was when it came out. It was like a couple weeks after it came out. When did that come out? Oh, I don't fucking know. A long time ago. I did it at the Newgrounds office. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the new Transformers movies. Well, yeah, they're horrible. Yeah, they, they sort of blend together as to like... <laughs> kind of like the cinematography. <laughs> oh, <laughs> am, I, am I right? Am I, am I right? <laughs> uh, oh, boy. I know, right? Oh, I'm not happy with that, how it played out. Uh, feed me a bagel, dude. What, like hand feed it to you? Yeah. Do I have to make the I bagel? I can't. I'm doing paleo right now, dude. Is that some kind of Jewish thing? What the fuck are you talking about? With the fact that you would say I would, I would be your bagel guy. No. Right. Why are you turn it into a race thing when it was clearly not a race thing? I, I just bagels are delicious, man. They are delicious. I'm not the one who said that. You're the one who said that. Bagels are fucking delicious. They are delicious. And you're all the one who's like, oh, it's because I'm Jewish. You know, it's not because you're Jewish. It's because bagels are fucking delicious. You know who really likes bagels? Who? The Jews. Oh shit, you're right. Oh 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 yeah. no, just keep dodging him. He'll get tired. So that was some spicy rice, I guess. Is there any fat guy in any video game that has not gotten tired at some point? <laughs> just like, King Hippo. <sighs> oh, God. Everybody gets tired. It's not just a fat guy thing. Oh, that's true. I get tired sometimes, and I'm not a fat guy. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I never get tired. <laughs> no, I'm totally a fat guy. You're not a Soon fat guy. Soon to be the not, though. Dude, according to the according to the America's BMI index, uh -huh. I am obese. I don't know what that means. Body mass index. Oh, you're it's, obese. It's a bunch of bullshit. You're not obese. I think I'm like I'm like just pushing. 
Like I'm I'm like the max of overweight. Oh shit, that goes to straight benching. Yeah, yo. Check it. All right. Dude, okay. how much you bench? How much you bench, Aaron? How much do I bench? Yeah, like like um, a, like a deadlift, like I've one never, deadlift. I've never a deadlift. I've never deadlifted in my life, dude. Really? Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking. Put, that's how Bruce Lee broke his fucking back. Yeah, whatever. Like he was small. <laughs> <laughs> that he was. Yeah. Um. Uh. Fucking. Bench? I don't know. A lot. Not as much as I used to, though, because I haven't worked out in a while. Cool. So, that's that, really. Yeah. So you're not a member of the Quarter Ton Club like me? <laughs> Tossing up 500 pounds like it's let's, let's, fucking nothing? Let's go to the Gaim, and I'll and I'll show you how much I can I'll, lift. I'll, yeah. Yeah. That's right, I can lift 500 pounds. Uh... Tw th three times my weight. No, that's not true. <laughs> Almost three times my weight. I can lift 50 pounds. Four times my weight. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, chill the fuck out, buddy. I, what the hell's going on? Girl Chain of Paradise. <laughs> it's named after Ken Star. <laughs> <laughs> I've never told anybody of that. That's a really good choice. <laughs> Give me the hot heat. Oh, thanks, man. I wish I could play. Hey. Girl Chain of Paradise. If, if anybody knows where King Doom went, the guy who wrote that theme song, I really want to know, because he vanished off the face of the planet. King did really? Mm-hmm. He was a really good guitarist, and he had a whole band. You have dudes in your life who just disappear like that? Dude, he was he was a big fan, mm -hmm. and then I contacted him, and I was like, your music's amazing, like, can you write a theme song for Girl Chan? And he was like, yeah. And then he wrote that shit. He wrote, like, three different songs, too. I have a couple of them. And um, the ending and the intro are actually one song. The, the ending of Girl Chan is actually the intro to the song that ended up being the intro. Whoa. Anyway. I'm learning things. Um, he wrote that song and I was like, awesome. And then I wanted to make like a new season of Girl Chan. And then I was like, man, I need to get Kingdom to do it. And then he, he just like posted and he was like, I've, I'm gone forever. I'm never going to come back. What? And he didn't. He didn't come back. Dude, fucking... The cookies are hard to yeah, make. He's basically doing like a drum solo and cookies explode out everywhere. I don't want to, I don't want to drive, I don't want to drive home. I know. Dan. Let's sleep at the, let's sleep at the grump space. No, but I have to, I have to. This couch is very I comfortable. I have to go home to my wife. She's a beautiful woman. She is beautiful. I miss her. Oh, I know. It's been so long. And I want to get some cookies. I've been recording stop this. Stop at the store and get cookies. I've been recording this for a year. Okay. Yeah. Good night, everybody. I hope you have fun. Kevin, I hope you ended this episode. Do you want to go on a bounty hunt for Randy Quaid? Wow. Well, yeah. yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, you do have to use airboats. I forgot about that. I've been on an airboat. It's yeah. cool until I, it's until it's not. Yeah. It's cool until you see a fucking alligator surface uh, his head, like, two inches from where your legs are. Dude, that was my backyard. Ugh. So scary. I had a fucking canal in my backyard. You had a canal? You were there. Yeah, we were in uh, Palm Springs. Uh-huh. And, um, we, we went by that animal cr hospital, and then, like, the, the telephone pole was covering up the middle part, so it just said anal hospital. Oh, yeah. That was great. Those were good times. Yeah. I liked it, too. I'd love to... I'd be a doctor if there was such a thing as an anal hospital. You know, we had fun sometimes. What? We've had fun before. Oh, you and me just in general? Yeah. Well, that was where I watched you eat that crazy Dairy Queen thing. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. And I was like, oh my god. It's, crazy Dairy Queen. It's hard to watch. They must have, like, really wanted to do everything. Oh, yeah. You know and they I mean? tried. Yeah. But they were smart, too. Like, they didn't, uh... Like, you'll notice the fire flower is omitted from this game. Oh, yeah. Because that would have been a fucking nightmare yeah, to program. Yeah, because it's like aiming a fucking fireball is annoying. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they did it in 3D World, so fuck them. Yeah. But, great. But it still was hard. Good, good. Nice. Is it kind of similar, like, what you were talking about, um, in your sequelitis about Zelda and, like, throwing bombs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah, definitely. I, I'm sure they tried it, and they were like, this doesn't really work. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. kudos, kudos to them for not keeping that around. Yeah, dude. Sometimes the best, uh... Whoa, the best action is inaction. Nice! Oh, because I've been I've been doing paleo again. Right. Uh, to lose weight so that I can gain weight in Japan. Yes, oh, I know. It's a magical <laughs> idea. Because I eat 
like crazy when I travel because I'm like, I'm never going to be here again. I want all the food. Yeah. What? She, <laughs> Jesus, that dog was in a hurry. <laughs> he was in a hurry. <laughs> God. Delicious human. Yeah, that was, I mean, he was doing it before anybody else was. Yep. That, that inspired me to do, they're not up anymore, <laughs> but I did these, uh, I did these like Yu-Gi-Oh dubs. That inspired me to do this shitty thing that <laughs> doesn't exist. <laughs> Well, I don't remember why I took him down. I think it's just because I wasn't really proud of him. Right. Um, but like, yeah, before anybody started like doing comedy dubs of like anime or something, I was doing comedy dubs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu <laughs> and uh, they were pretty stupid. Well, <laughs> but Fensler Films was the reason I did it. Yeah, and I mean, you know, like, it, it's, it's... It's funny with those early things you do. Like, you, you look at them with such... Uh, what's the word? A critical eye because you're like oh you you see all you see is the things you would have done differently if you'd make them now you right. know but like if people are enjoying them then fuck it like one of my favorite rush albums is caress of steel and like it's a very early one of theirs and i heard them talking about it and the lead singer was like i cringe every time i listen to that album and i'm like cringe don't cringe it yeah. changed my life <laughs> <laughs> i love it so yeah yeah, yeah. And, and i mean that's that's just how how things always are with your early work. Hey, what's up, quicksand? Boy, that lava looks delicious somehow. It just it looks like does. candy, like like melted licorice. Stop. Okay, just sorry, sorry. Stop. All the things that one could not enjoy on a paleo diet. Oh yeah, yep, that's right. Stay, stay low, baby. No, 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 no. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh, climb, ha, climb, ha, climb, ha, climb ha, like ha, the wind. Ha. Okay. Do I have to go inside the pyramid? That is the question. Uh, that is the question. I'm waiting for an ad to load. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I got a, quite a hankering for KFC right now, though. I'll what? tell you that. Oh, don't fucking... Oh, look at those nuggets. Look at those nuggets just no, tumbling. No, Just no. tumbling down. I can't have fried food. Baby. Oh, the kernel. Just kidding. Sh shit is gross. I know. I can't have fried food, Dan. How do you KFC, Aaron? That's their hashtag that I guess you can tweet. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. He's he's a fat Italian beefcake. I love that he dreams of lasagna. Oh, I would. Wouldn't you? Would not you? I mean, any of us can. <laughs> it's <laughs> and do. I dream of lasagna all the time because I'm on fucking paleo. And never mind that I lost ten pounds. <coughs> That's really impressive. Thanks Thank for the applause. <coughs> I was talking to Kevin, but oh. Kevin, could you put in a burr? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Well, the only reason I did it was so that I could fucking eat whatever the fuck I wanted in Japan and not end up being like a million zillion pounds. I feel like we already talked about this yes, in a previous yes, episode. We did. But the point is, there's a free man. <laughs> Yay. I can't get it. Can't get it. It's, uh... And that that's what shocks me, because I, I feel like I'm going to eat less in Japan. Oh, no way, dude. No? No fucking way. You're gonna eat so much goddamn food. Really? Aw, oh, dude, the food there's fucking delicious. Aw, oh, shit, dude. Aw, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it reacted to the star power. Yeah, so this is this is the final Bowser. What? Yeah, maybe? Or maybe? Is this the finale? No, 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 no. Oh. No, 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 <laughs> no! Hey, I say. No! <laughs> Seeing Egoraptor approaching, the door reacts to the star power. Mm. <laughs> 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 Don't you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I wanna, you know, I wanna do that one time in my life. What, like a don't you know who I am Yeah, moment. because I'm totally not that guy, but no, like, I, I wanna have like one story that I can be like, no, actually I did, I did do that one. Yeah, yeah. But like some, over something stupid, like a stick of gum or something. Oh, absolutely. It's like, this gum was supposed to be on sale. And he's like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the sale ended two days ago. Don't you fucking know who I am. <laughs> I am fucking Egoraptor. Yeah. Internet celebrity extraordinaire. <laughs> You do not talk to me like that. <laughs> She's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, like I'm at Starbucks and I like get like a panini or something, 
and I'm like, can I get some ketchup packets? And they're like, oh, we don't have ketchup packets. And I'm like, um, <laughs> take off my sunglasses slowly. <laughs> you may not, uh, you may not recognize me because I was wearing sunglasses. I wrote an internet song about dinosaurs and lasers in 2010. I'll just, you can just bring the ketchup to my car. <laughs> I'll be waiting over here yep. <laughs> in the handicapped spot. <laughs> and I wish it were different, but Dan, uh, there's nothing I can do. This game was made fucking 15 years ago or whatever. 20. What? 20? 20 years ago. God, how old am I? Uh, 20. I'm 28. 20 years ago. I think I'm 28. I'm either 27 or 28. You should know that. Why? That's the thing you should know. What year were you born in? 87. 87. And, uh, yeah, and you've already had your birthday this year? Yeah, it's in January. So you're 38. 28, sorry. Bunch of people. Okay. Um, you decided to eat a disgusting yeah. Whopper. I had a Burger King today. <laughs> and... <laughs> the king himself. It, it was not great. Do you not feel like royalty? My stomach is just like, oh, fuck. My stomach is just like out of control. Like it won't even, it won't even, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe that sound isn't the clock. It's actually like your labyrinthian gut <laughs> See, <laughs> having I, an awful time. I was, as I've mentioned a million times on the show, I was dieting. So I was eating only like pretty good foods. And yeah. I immediately when I went off it, I was like, mac and cheese, burger, burger, milkshake. <laughs> and now my stomach's like, why? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you give me this? You were excited. I don't deserve it. <laughs> and, uh, man. It's just the worst. See, uh, Dan, I've been- I've been meditating. Yeah, me too. I've been, uh, I've been trying to get zen so it that I don't get so angry at Mario. Really? Yeah. How's it working? Well, we'll find out. But, uh, right now I'm feeling pretty calm, even though I've been jumping into this wall. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you a couple people watching aren't calm. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe my calmness will... Carry on to everyone else, you know what I mean? Okay. Because cool. this this level, I remember, was super infuriating. Yes. And uh, I remember watching it. It was amazing to watch. I'm feeling good. I'm yeah. Feeling, feeling good. I'm feeling spry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I promised. I promised someone I'd ask you where that's from, but I don't know. I just made it up. Are you seriously? Yeah. That's not from anything. No. You're a fucking genius, dude. <laughs> Thank that is you. the best. <laughs> <laughs> who who wanted to use that? I I did a uh, I did a uh, an I'm bored on a plane AMA. Uh huh. Uh, whoa. Well, gonna, oh gonna nice. Shortcut. Yeah. See, there's a carpet down here too. I'm a fucking genius. Wait, I didn't want to go this way. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, dude! <laughs> Fine. It might have been slightly uh, might have been slightly inspired by Max's cartoon. Max Gilardi? Yeah. He did a he did an Invader Zim cartoon oh, where nice. everyone just goes, ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit. <laughs> but that's it. He's a talented fella. I just ah oh, shit, oh, <laughs> man, Jesus. My God, that's my favorite go-to like goofy voice. Me too, my, my mine too, I should say. Because it's what inspired um both Lemon and Bill. Ooh, I'm not familiar with those characters. Were they from before you were any good? <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Are you- are you- you don't know who Lemon and Bill I are? I fucking totally know who Lemon and Bill are! <laughs> cause it's just, you know... They were where the, like, grunt faces came from, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Lemon is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually changed his face in the last episode of Lemon and Bill. Whoa. Yeah. To be more grump-like. Ooh. Cause I, th I thought he looked a little too, like... Like he had a problem. <laughs> you know, in this one he just looks mad. But in the other one... In the ones before it, he looked kinda like... Like, maybe he needs to go see a doctor. Oh, sure. Yeah. I have that look often. Um, yeah, that's where... Ah, is that right? What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> Just hanging on to this flying carpet and everything, and, you know, it's not a big deal or anything. It's got rainbows flying through it and whatnot. It's so weird to watch you do voices because, like, I'm not, I'm not a very good voice actor, but, <laughs> like, when I see voice actors do stuff, I always expect their faces to be doing something crazy. Like it, like, it can't just be that, like, you know, you think I'm going to speak in a different voice and then you do it, but apparently it fucking is. Yeah, it's totally, hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm trying to chase down this 
green mushroom or something. I don't know. It's just been weird and everything. Well, why is it weird? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Uh, I want to make more lemon and bills. They're my favorite. Yeah, do it. Uh, lemon's such an asshole to Bill. Yeah, it's, it's always weird, like, because I I have a problem keeping weight off because my metabolism sucks or whatever. I, right. I sit around a lot. And, like, I exercise and stuff, but, like, Dang it. If, if I don't eat really well, then I'm probably going to gain weight. Right. Um, How do I get there? To that hurt piece. Oh, you it's it's a whole fucking... Rigmarole. System. Yeah, it's uh, it's like Dark World, Light World shit. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Um, but then I hear there's, like, the opposite problem of people who, like, can't put on weight. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I'm like, man, that sounds like it sucks, too. Endomorph. Because everybody... It's just not healthy. Yeah, whenever somebody says that, they're like, oh man, I can't put on weight. It's like, oh man, I wish. And it's like, yeah. nah, I bet you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have horrible stomach pains all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that, that sounds like a terrible thing to have. Like, you'd have to eat and eat and eat, and it, it probably hurts. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. I imagine his diet of, like, lasagna and, and hard liquor is not, uh... Not Lasagna and hard liquor. <laughs> yeah. When was that established as canon? Because I mean, he's like a he's like a like a Italian. Yeah, he's a York. fat Italian. Yeah. He's a fat Italian. Aaron, come right out and say that's it. What I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he is. How else did he get fat if not for eating horrible foods for him? I don't know, man. Maybe he has, maybe he's got a problem. Exactly. Maybe he really likes sushi. He just can't stop. I love sushi and I can't stop. I love sushi and I won't stop. I used to weigh... Let me let me give a little insight about me. You used to weigh less and more. What? Than you do now. What? Have you lost weight? Uh, no. Oh. Are you the fattest you've ever been? Yes. Really? Yes. Right well, now? Yes. I'm, I'm also probably the most in shape I've ever been, so yeah, that's kind of Yeah, maybe that's like why a, I'm not noticing. Yeah, that's it's like a weird Whoa. parallel. Uh, or contrast. Um, but when I moved here, I was 180, and now I'm 220. Whoa! Whoa, 220? 40, 40 pounds. Dude, you weigh 80 pounds more than me right now. Whoa, damn. That's crazy. But a lot of that's my fault, I too. could make, like, a whole nother person. <laughs> I know, I know. And still be I'm, your weight. I'm disturbingly skinny. We'll work it out. I have big bones. Oh my god, this Whoa. dude is psycho. And like, shatters two ankles. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh! Pick me up! <laughs> Pick me up in three days! Oh! He lands and immediately shoots up a flare. Oh! oh man, he um, I made a cartoon about that. Did you? Hello there. Yep. Never saw it. Whoa! Awesome rising. Hello Here's there. Worst cartoon. I used to eat at Chili's constantly. Did you? Yeah, dude. Susie and I were like way into Chili's. Wow. We'd fuck. I'd always get the battered uh, chicken mm -hmm. because it's fucking delicious. Oh yeah. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, we'd always end off the night with um, a molten chocolate lava cake. Oh god. Oh, that you shit. two were made for each other. It is. You uh, like to kill desserts in exactly the same way. Oh my god, we decimate desserts, dude. <laughs> Like, we, I, I mean, when I moved here, I was 180 pounds, and now I'm 225, so. Jesus, really? Yeah, if that gives you any. You gained 45 pounds since you moved to L.A.? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just getting older, and, uh, I mean, I just, I love to eat. Man. <laughs> that's the <laughs> yeah, real that's answer. Really what it is. The moment I picked up a pencil. Oh, boy. It's just practice. It's a skill. It's not a talent. I do, you know what? I do have to say, I watched some of your early, like, um, oh, Metal, yeah, they're bad. Metal Gear Awesome shit. It's terrible. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you've come a long, long way. You really have. For sure. Uh, to, to be fair, that was intentionally well, goofy. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter because, you know, I'm only as good as I am right now, but yeah, that was, that was intentionally bad. Right. I <laughs> like I used the word goofy. You can just say it looked horrible. No, I mean it looked it looked adorably goofy. Sure. In a ho like a horrible way. I uh <laughs> So the, when I released Metal Gear Awesome, uh Tom Fulp, the creator of Newgrounds, who's a really good guy and uh, is possibly to blame for my entire career. Right. Uh, to blame. <laughs> yeah. 
responsible for. You fucking for. did this, Tom Fulton. My entire Thank career. you. Uh, I released Metal Gear Awesome, and then he featured it on Attack of the Show. He, uh, I didn't know he had anything to do with that. He and Kevin Pereira, I guess, were like, pretty good friends. Oh, that's awesome. Or something like that. I, I don't re really remember, but he was on Attack of the Show, and he would show up as a guest every so often to like promote Newgrounds videos, and he promoted uh, Metal Gear Awesome. And I was like, whoa! And then in the, in the video, he's like, <laughs> he's like, this is a, a really funny video, and it proves that you don't really need good visuals to tell good jokes. <laughs> and, then, and then he sent me an email, and he was like, I'm so sorry. Uh, I that. that was really mean. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> and I was like, no, dude, it was, it was amazing. Here's an example of something that's terrible and good. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I, didn't, I, I, I was... I, <laughs> I was in one of my moods before. Oh yeah, <laughs> the panel. Right, right before Aaron goes on stage, he's like, "You have your head in your hands," and and like a guy comes up to you, and he's like, <laughs> "Hey man, can I get you anything?" <laughs> it, it, what'd you say? Uh, like, I'd like a high tree and yeah. a noose. A noose and a dramatic tree. <laughs> <laughs> And then the guy came over to me afterwards, and he was like, "Is Aaron, is Aaron okay?" Like, and I was like, "Yeah, he. When he's like this, just leave him alone. He'll just give him some space. He'll be fine." I just like to imagine what's going on in that guy's mind when, like, he, he experiences that, and then I go on stage, and I'm like, "Woo! Hey, everybody!" <laughs> like, like, he's living a lie. He's <laughs> well, no, that's the funny thing, because like, you you. You force yourself to be like that for like three seconds, and then you hear the crowd and you see them, and you're like, "Oh, now yeah. you're." And I actually am energized, but like, yeah, that, that was it was very funny to watch you to go through that. Oh, that's good stuff. You're pretty much my champion. You're my special dude. People, uh, people like to be like, "Oh man, Aaron's he's." Oh man, he must be so depressed or something. I've, I've always been like that. Yeah, no, like I remember the years and years I've been like I've, I've I've been like oh man, I just I just I don't care. I'll just, I just whatever. Well, there are times like I, I hope this isn't like saying too much, but like I remember when we came back from a convention years ago. I won't say which one, but like you didn't get to enjoy yourself because it was just too crazy and you had too much businessy stuff to do and you were really upset and on the drive to the airport we're all in the car together and like you were like really quiet and like your eyes were like wide open and you were like <laughs> staring out at nothing and i was like dude you're all right and just like got no response whatsoever like not even like a blink you're just like somewhere else and i looked at Susie, and i was like is this is this all right and she was like he's totally fine just give him some time <laughs> and <laughs> And that was when we didn't know each other as well. And now, now I've become the he's totally fine. Don't even worry about it, guy. <laughs> oh, I love you, buddy. It's gonna be all right. Oh man, Pruning Duger syndrome, <laughs> where you think you're ass garbage at everything. <laughs> I, if anybody ever came up to me and was like, hey. I know everyone talks about like Metal Gear Awesome and like Sequelitis and stuff. Mm -hmm. Awesome Rising is my favorite work by you. It's so fucking good. Awesome Rising? It's my Dead Rising parody. It's so bad. Really? Yeah. I gotta check that out. It, you did a Dead Rising parody? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's so bad. I'm gonna look it up right now. Oh god. Yay. It's uh... And the one I uploaded to YouTube is the better version. Oh, like, nice. I updated it to be, like, funnier, and it's still garbage. Yay. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. Oh my god, please. God fucking damn it! This level is fucking hard! Ooh, 45 seconds long. Oh yeah, it's one of the best. Will I get content ID'd if I, if I play your own shit on Game Grumps? Just go ahead and I don't give a shit. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Alright. Let's do this together, everybody. Bring up the awesome- pause the episode, bring up awesome series, Awesome Rising and watch it with me and i'm starting it right now this is so 
so bad. Uh, don't. Uh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love it! Uh. No. Yay! It's no. great, dude! No. I love it! No. Oh, man. Uh -uh. Be proud. No. I laughed. Especially since we just played Dead Rising uh, for Halloween and made many of those same jokes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I guess they're pretty obvious. Who's Boneyard? Did I go there already? I don't know. That doesn't sound familiar, actually. You just need two more shines. I feel like I... Yeah, I did this. Wait, let me... Oh, I guess you did. Huh. I don't remember it, though. Wow, that's pretty impressive that you laughed at that. It's it. <laughs> I love people's legs getting fucking squashed. <laughs> uh, it's it's a thing I, I do. I could have sold that joke way better if I drew it better, but I just didn't have time. Is that what the problem was? Yeah, those those old awesome cartoons that mm -hmm. were like 30 seconds long. Right. Um, those were for MTV, and those were like really short deadlines. It was for MTV? Really tight budget, yeah. They were on MTV? Uh, on actual MTV? Um... The Donkey Kong one was, Whoa. and the Shadow of the Colossus one was. Whoa! Ooh. We never really went on vacations, because really? we didn't really have a whole lot of money at all. Oh. So we just kind of... Sorry for bringing it up. Stayed home. My family often went on opulent, uh, opulent vacations, uh, where we would uh, drink wine with Saudi royal families and ride on horseback on the moon. <laughs> Did that really happen, Dan? Yeah, that was that was the Avedon family vacation. That sounds fun. Can I go back in time and hang out with little Dan? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think we would be friends if you were 27 and I were 20? Oh, definitely. Yeah? With those pictures you showed me of you as a 20 year old? You mean, you mean pimpcoat.jpg? Oh my god, this is so amazing. Can, can I send that shit to Kevin so he can put it up here? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Ooh. Whoa. Dang, that's tough. Yeah, Aaron, uh, Aaron found some cringy pictures of himself from dude, when he was younger. I'm a fucking meme, dude. Are you really? Yeah, dude. Uh, with that, with that exact picture? No, it was oh. with, um, it was the one where I had a fedora on and I was in front of <laughs> my Mega Man collection. Oh, not And right then fedora. next to a picture of me wearing all black with two swords. Oh, Jesus. And it says, I can be your angle or your devil. <laughs> your angle yeah. or your devil. <laughs> Wow. Um, and it's like super hugely tweeted right now. It's so great. It's like really popular. <laughs> and I'm I'm so happy. <laughs> it, it just it brings me so much joy. It's so great. I wish I could remember like what camera I took those pictures with. I think I had like a shitty old shitty fucking shitty camera that I got like as a hand me down from like a friend. Oh, it's just so great. Because you have like in some of those pictures you have like I don't know the right way to say this, and I don't I don't mean to be offensive towards you, but I don't know how else to say it. It's like fat, but like in the shape of a six pack. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> do, you know I, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's because I always used to. The reason I know what you mean is because I always used to be like, yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh, we'll put up a picture or two if we can find it. <laughs> but it really is amazing. It's like perfectly like distributed fat. I have a very strange body. It's like in, in that time I was yeah. very skinny and like my I had like big hips. Nice. So okay. it, I was always like, why why, why am I Aww. I was always like, why are my hips so big? I don't get it. I should I should have like a big upper body. You have wide wide birthing hips. Yeah, but now I don't give a shit because the the whole of me is fat. So <laughs> now, now it's just all there. It's just fine. So I I just can't lose weight anymore because if I do, then I'll like lose all of my upper mass. Oh, but I my, see. But my hips will still be very wide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So if if like you had like a Ukrainian mom, she would be like yes. This is my daughter, Aaron. She make wonderful mother. Why do you uterus for, for easy birth? Why do you uterus for easy birth? How much? <laughs> you can have him slash her for a goat and tuzuzim. <laughs> tuzuzim. Tuzuzim. Make I, it. I, I throw in I throw in young newborn 
Three is Ozim. <laughs> Maybe two goat. A beautiful girl like Aaron. We need goat. White. <laughs> <laughs> In like air quotes. <laughs> White. <laughs> Oh God damn it, I did God. the same thing! <laughs> <laughs> Fat in the shape of a six pack. <laughs> How else could you say? The first time I ever saw it was in the, the picture we took for the calendar where you were in the Sailor Moon outfit and you couldn't get it over your head and you were like... <laughs> you, so I think someone snapped the picture with like your midriff exposed and just your arms sticking wildly out of the shirt. Yeah. And I was like, man, Aaron's kind of weirdly fat ripped. <laughs> I've oh, like I don't understand it because so when I when I started like when I like hit puberty <laughs> I, I like I, I had that and then yeah. I was like oh man well I guess it's just because like I'm 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 a little fat and like it's just from like sitting and, right. I, and I have like the little red marks <laughs> right. but I just I always have it yeah it's yeah. very strange it's and it's weird body. when I when I actually do uh, like sit-ups and stuff they go away really <laughs> yeah <laughs> your six pack it just like flattens out into like just a fat tummy and I'm like <laughs> oh I guess I'm never doing sit-ups <laughs> this is bullshit I want to destroy these but I don't well I don't have to waste bullets so here we go bang 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 fuck you you fucking boxes you piece of shit boxes you told me I was I was fat and I'm not fat I'm just I'm, I'm just, just kind of big boned. I've been just eating just, a lot yeah, lately. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just working out, and it, like my abs are pushing out the fat that was on top. <laughs> That's Brian's excuse. That's real, though. Okay. It's true. <laughs> but it's true. It does. It, it. You got more muscle under there, and muscle on top of fat makes you fatter looking. People think that doing crunches makes you lose weight, and it's not true at all. It does if you eat right and also do crunches. super fat. <laughs> oh, wait. Here we go. Mm. I'm drinking straight chai tea. It's fucking bitter. Mm. Mm. I'm watching it. I'm watching you drink it. Cause I fucking, cause I used to be addicted to Monster Energy drink, but the diet I'm on, I can't have any sugar. So, in order to get my caffeine, and I hate coffee, so in order to you get hate my coffee, yeah, hmm. it's disgusting. I think you have told me that actually. Um. Not you don't even like, like mocha frappuccinos where no. it's like, three drops of coffee no. in like, a fucking gallon of sugar milk. No, not at all. Wow. All right. Susie gets those, and then she's like, "Try this. You can't even taste the coffee." And I'm like, "All right." And I try it, and I'm just like, <laughs> "Oh, coffee! Gross!" <laughs> wow. It's so fucking potent to me. Probably should try to get in here. All right. Fine. But why would we even make the store? Fucking up to you then. Um, but yeah, uh, so in order to get my caffeine fix, which I, I'm off caffeine too, but when I do game grumps, I don't know, I need Whoa! Hi, 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 hi. Well, I'll have to hold this. Then this fucker falls. Ooh. Yeah, you really just gotta be super patient. That's what I talked about in my fucking sequelitis. Oh yeah. Just gotta be patient and wait it out and deal with it. Yeah, but at the time, you weren't m making a show. Yeah, well, were you? Was Game Grumps out? No, that no, 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 no. Like, even the Mega Man one was out before. Wow. We started Game Grumps, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you even remember life before Game Grumps? Yeah. I mean, like, I remember my life before it, but like, I just feel like I must have been doing Game Grumps at that time too. <laughs> like, it's it's weird. It is a little weird. It's such it's, a it's, huge part of my life now. Yeah, it sort of blurs the lines of like events. Mm-hmm. It nice. was, it's just sort of a state of being right. at that point, as opposed to like, I went in and I did an episode. What's with all the waiting in uh, Metroid? There is so much what goddamn, goddamn waiting, waiting. <laughs> in uh, 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 uh in Ocarina. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that the other day. Really? Yep. Why? Because it's an outstanding piece of work. Thanks, man. That you have grown to dislike, but I love. I love the comedy in it. Yeah, it's really, it's really well put together. Um, and I agree with the, what you say. Having great. played Ocarina, I was like, yeah, a lot of this makes total sense. Cool. Yep. Well, thank you for that. Um, I spent a lot of time on it. I spent a little too long on it, actually. Oh, 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 oh. oh come on! Come on! Shit. It's like fucking, um... Uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s baseball for the Super Nintendo. The only thing I wanted to ask you about that sequelitis, 
when I watched it recently, and I know I asked you about it before, but I was like, what was the, um, what was the joke you were trying to make with Skyward Sword added Brom Bobbling. It goes into this super surreal, like... It's just because Bobbling sucks. Oh, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's, it's such a non-fucking feature. It's so bad. Oh. It never works. That's what. That's why it was going into that weird. Because it was all footage of it never working. Oh, yeah. I did not pick up on that. Yeah, it's just like it was all footage of like it blowing up in your face and shit. <laughs> that's awesome. So go 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 go. Yeah, bomb bowling sucks, you, dick. You're doing great. There's there's so much to dislike about Skyward Sword. It's fucking. It's, it's I cannot insane. fucking wait for us to play. Oh it. my god, I'm gonna be screaming my fucking <laughs> neck off. Someone asked how much milk I drink. Guess what? I because I did fucking paleo, which doesn't include dairy. I'm fucking lactose intolerant now. That's that's a thing that happens if you don't drink any or eat dairy products for like months at a time. You lose your tolerance for it. So now, if I eat fucking dairy, ice cream or milk or whatever, I get crazy farty. <laughs> so thanks, paleo. You really. Really kills. If I could make one more sequelitis, what would it be about? And what game? And what topic? The answer is, I would make it about Sonic the Hedgehog. If I weren't performing, I would be building, um, miniatures. Really? Yeah. I would spend all my time building miniatures and playing Overwatch. <laughs> you know what? If I weren't performing, I would definitely live, like, I, I like just totally travel, you know, like live like a weird beach life. What if I'm, you were a vagrant, dude? I mean, that's what I would do. What if you brought like your bass guitar and just like played for you were like a wandering minstrel? That right? that's what I would do. So you were a performer, but you weren't like doing fucking giant ass shows at the fucking Wiltern and the Hammerstein Ballroom. And yeah, I've never gotten any complaints about my dick. But, uh, it's a personal thing. I never understood that. Never gotten any complaints. Like, who, how bad would you have to be at sex for a girl to be like, Well, I don't know. It sucks. If you've been, like, if you've been with a girl for, like, fucking eight years like I have, I don't even know, it's been, like, 13 or 14 years. Jesus Christ. But, like, after You're a while. You were off by five years. Well, whatever. The point is, <laughs> the, she doesn't care. Well, maybe she does a little bit. I care, which is what I'm, anyway. Oof. Stop making me look like an asshole. <laughs> I really, really uncoordinated and stupid to like mess it up, but it made me feel super gifted. <laughs> like when you when you were a kid, did you even like trick yourself a little bit? You're like, no, I'm I'm smart. Yeah, I'm really good. But like inside, you knew it was an easy fucking game. Oh, totally. It's like for babies. <laughs> I used to take like, I used to be in a lot of like the advanced classes when I was a kid. But there, every so often, I'd be put in like a regular class just because they didn't have an advanced version of it. And then I always feel super smart because they, they like ask questions that were just like, what's, what's three plus three? <laughs> and a lot of them would be like, I don't know. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. shit, dude. In your freaking <laughs> face. But whatever. Um, many of you are familiar with this level because of my sequelitis video. Um, I love that video. Uh, super proud of it. I'm probably going to be playing a little more mediocre than I usually would because I have to literally fucking talk the whole time. Cause that's the deal. That's the fucking deal. It's just me on the couch. That happened to me this morning. I have, uh, I was working out and, uh, oh god. I have a, I have a, I have a personal trainer that I see sometimes. And he, uh, I was like, I can't anymore. I can't. And he was just like, all right, just go, just go, go. Two more, two. And I was like, oh. And then I just kept going. And I was like, oh sweet, there it is. Yeah, that is how, that is how they do it. Yeah. So it was, it was actually the first time in a long time that that happened to me. Cause usually I can. I can muster the strength. And usually he's not like that type of guy either. No, no, no. Uh, he's very, he's very docile. He's super chill. Um, but like, he, he can get the, he can get it. Yeah, he, he can, can make it, it happen. Because he's all about the fucking, he's cool, right? So like, most personal trainers that I've seen or experienced, they, they like, they'll tell you to do something and then if you're like, I don't like, I don't like doing that. And they'll be like, whatever, fuck it, you gotta do it. It's yep. part of the regiment. And it's like, okay, I get that. But also, his his mentality is like, oh, well, if you don't like it, then you're not gonna 
do you're it. not gonna do it, yeah. right? <laughs> and then you'll get nothing out of it. Right. So I might as well figure out something. It's my job to figure out check this out what you like. <laughs> uh, that sort of reminds me of. So I have a personal trainer who sees me every so often, um, just to make sure I'm doing everything right. Uh, and uh, he. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! What's that? Is that a blue plant? Yeah, it's a it's a for poison. Ah. Oh. Um, I don't need it right now. Okay. I might if these fucking snakes bite me. Is she, is she holding her side because she's hurt? Yes. Uh, I see. Um, so. He, he was working out with me, and uh, one of the cats came in, Mochi and Mimi. Uh -huh. It was Mochi. And he was like, oh, sh he's got short legs. And I was like, yep, it's pretty cool, right? And he was like, yeah, he's going to have back problems later. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he's like, yeah. Can you turn it off for a minute, dude? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, you see how he moves like this? Like, yeah, so they, they can't rotate, and because of the, it has the short legs, it, it's overstressing the lower back. And, and I'm just like, really? Yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> What do you want me to do, man? No. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, you know, you can go to a vet and get like pills. Pills? For that. Yeah, like like when he gets old. He's like, obviously the cat's not gonna tell you that he's he's in pain, but um you're gonna have to if it, if he starts walking slower, he, that's him telling you he's in pain. And I'm like Whoa. I'm like I'm glad I know this, but also I don't wanna know this. Yeah, totally. Snakey snakes. Um so yeah, I guess when Moach starts walking slow someday, I'm gonna have to be like, oh, is he you got back pain. Oh, I guess I'll get him guy. some some kitty Xanax or whatever. Kitty Xanax, can kitty opium. And then you just take it all. Cause I know that shit works, dude. <laughs> you just like take all the opium right in front of him. And you're like, I know I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, kitty? How you, <laughs> you like forget his name? Little pussy. Hello, cat. <laughs> all right, here I am in the special room. I got to make this fucking chemical called V Jolt. But this shit is bullshit. Okay. This this whole because you got to do like this weird, you got to do math, and it's like it's kind of easy, but it just I, I can never seem to get it right. It's kind of easy, but it's also math. <sighs> well, which you and I don't have the best track record with. It, well, thanks. It's true. I need to continue to put it in. No, what the hell? Math was my favorite subject. Was it really? Yeah, I've said that a million times. Okay. I love math. Um. So does Brian. Yeah, it's a great. It's. It's logic, is, is what it is. Well, if you love math so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dan. <laughs> I just had like a flashback to people saying that when I was like in kindergarten. I'm like, what a stupid thing to say. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what, see what, what try it out. on for size. <laughs> it feels really good, actually. Wait, wait, what? Seven? How do I make seven? Uh, seven is three plus four, so that's right. N P. You do four. like math, so if I, so.